Let's just do the housekeeping in front of everybody. Hi, Ed. Paul Callum Karen, how are you? I'm just great. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is the nice uh, Vintner series for June 2012. Um, you care? <laughs> hey, what are we tasting? We're tasting wine. Uh, and we're going to tell watching? About it. Uh, the world is watching. You ever heard of the word swole? No, I missed that oh, one. Well, that was okay. a cute little number. <laughs> what do you got? I, what do I got? Oh, I've yeah, got the Acuro Cabernet Sauvignon from Mendoza. Argentina. This was a Argentina. this wine was a buy on the spot. When I tasted this wine a few weeks ago, the guy said, "I go, how much do you have? When can I get it?" This was like, "I gotta have it now." Incredible bottle of wine. It's uh, Mendoza. Taste, taste, taste a little like balsamic <sighs> vinegar. <laughs> Hey, if you haven't seen the uh, little practical joke I played on Ed, where I poured vinegar in the bottle and then had him taste it as if we were going to sell it, uh, do it. Wee. Because it's the, the most played video out of the shoot. <laughs> well, that we here had. I'm trying to take one for the team, and I get, and, and I, I, of course, what I would have said to you after the, the camera stopped rolling wouldn't be fit for, <laughs> for a, a TV show. Man, this is a big wine. It's just, this is a man. mouthful of wine. Now I remember. You know, the sense of your 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 nose and your palate have such memory yeah, that absolutely. you can come back to something years later and go, I remember that. Mm -hmm. This is like weeks later, but man, I just I love the dark chocolate and the de depth God, of this. We definitely got dark chocolate, that's for sure. And lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. This is a big meal. I mean it's a powerful meal because mm -hmm. this is overpowering almost. I'm thinking of wild boar ragu. Oh, wow. Yeah, with, um, yeah, wild boar ragu. How about that wine tasting dinner we did here in Monrovia years ago, which was had uh, Black Bear? Was the, it was the least attended uh, winemaker that we ever <laughs> did. <laughs> I think the Black Bear was the chef. He said, actually, uh, <laughs> he, um, a little woolly, but, um, mm. well, this is a 95 for me. This is amazing it's stuff. Big. I mean, it's huge. Great. Cassis, chocolate, depth, dried fruit, black fruit, well, you name it, right? Regular price $19.99, reorder price $12.99. It's like, you know, actually it's not $12.99, it's really $6.50 because this is like two bottles of wine in one. <laughs> so you're getting twice the wine for, you know, $12.99. Killer. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Uh, I got a 94. I, 94 is .5. I already, I already said a 94. You, already, you yeah. said 95. Oh, okay. So I said 95. Perhaps, <laughs> uh, perhaps becoming my most favorite grape uh, grown in New Zealand, which is Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio oh, in Italy. God. But this, they keep coming out of the woodwork, and this little black stone came to me and told me, my, whispered in my ear. <laughs> what was the one we did last year that starts with a T? Okay, you got to hear something funny. Oops, Torrent Bay. Yes. Oh, my daughter's on the USC marching band, and they and, and one of their recent, uh, in, I think it was Notre Dame, the, the, the head guy goes, go get me a, he told one of the freshman kids, he goes, go get me a rock. So he get, the kid went and found this rock, and then he, they dressed the rock up, and now ever since then, this, they call it party rock, has been to all the venues that the USC marching band has been at. Okay, so Lisa went to London with the band, they played all over Trafalgar Square and all places. They took party rock to Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> to meet with his brethren? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh my! But I thought that was really, <laughs> really quite funny. Anyway, I love this little black. Stuff. You know, this is the kind of wine you want to take to people who say I don't drink wine and say I dare you mm. not to like this. I dare you. <laughs> you know, I mean, how could you not like this wine? This the wine this is wine. absolutely delicious. The mouthfeel is incredible. The finish. The it's got is all this beautiful fruit There's in the in the. Yeah, it's like nectarines. Yep, yeah, and all kind. It's just. It's just amazing. I mean, it really is a phenomenal grape. And, you know, New Zealand's got the big ra um, uh, deal for, for Sauvignon Blanc, but I think these Pinot Gris are blowing them away. Well, it does so well as a non-Pinot Grigio style wine. Mm -hmm. and, and when it's in New Zealand and you're not expecting this acidic Northern Italy type wine and you get this full mouth feel and the perfect color, by the way. For this, I, this is a '96. To me. I'm gonna say I was gonna say '96 myself. This wine is so delicious. I mean, you just you can't put it down. It's true. Little black stone, for, and it's Marlboro. Yeah. 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 Well, winner. When I went, I went. I went. I feel like. Um, you feel like name? what? What's his name? I'll never forget him. Uh, this is Charlie our Sheen. This is <laughs> Look at that color. Uh, featured on the front of the uh, newsletter, Waddle Creek. 
Well, we, this is our second Waddle Creek in like a month. Yeah, well, I, had, I bought two at the time. And I, I like this whole product line, actually, but yeah. these two are the best. And these, this is his Bordeaux blend. This is another This is another one of those, you get two, oh, two, two bottles of wine in one bottle. It's, you know, it's way up there. You know, the Yorkville Highlands, I mean, it's way up there. It's above, like, uh, Concanon and above all those guys in Livermore. Well, this is, uh, this is like, uh, really, really dense. Now, you talk about dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But reminiscent of its Bordeaux cousin, but California aggressiveness, Ooh. you know? Mm, wow. You really get the components, too. It's got Petit Verdot, it's got Mal Cabernet, it's got Merlot. It's, it's very, very dense, big chocolatey wine. Boy, this wine needs a little time to calm mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. or else you're going to have to have it uh, after the wild boar ragu. <laughs> you know, it's got plenty of acid, really saying, but it's got plenty of fruit in the middle to carry that. Uh, the nose on this thing is amazing, though. I mean, it really is. You talk about dense chocolate. It's really mountain fruit. You can just tell these, yeah. these grapes, you know, didn't get real, real hot, so they just they retain an incredible amount of, mm -hmm. of structure. And and yet there's, there's tons of fruit, like you said. It's mm -hmm. it's a I'm I'm doing a 95, but I'm I'm going to tell you in about 10 years this will be a 97, wow. 98. You know, I don't know if you know that's really clever of you, 95. I'm going to go with 95 too. That's really really smart of you. I mean, you you never cease to amaze me on the way you just pop those numbers out. Yeah, I, me too. It's hard to <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, another sparkling this is wine. So fun. Oh, this is Vermentino. I love this grape. It's Vermentino and Biancale. And no, and, it's not Vermentino. It's it's Biancale, which is Vermentino-like. Yeah, and Chardonnay. And Chardonnay, right? but ooh we. It, it says right on the label is Frizzante. It's meant to be Frizzante. I don't like bubbles in my wine all the time, especially a still wine like Chardonnay. But this thing just it's from Italy, uh, and it just blew me away. And I was reluctant, but since it's June and it's going to be hot and you'll be sitting out there, I thought, okay, this is a fun wine. It's a great wine. It's, it's very reminiscent, actually, of the Vino Verde, mm -hmm. which is, um, you know, again, uh, you know, very light. It, it goes great with summer fare. Um, what I liked about it, and after I retasted it, nose. was it's got a creaminess of almost a, cha a Method Champenois. It's got enough creaminess mm -hmm. in it that you almost think that, and I love the green apples and the... There's a certain flint mm. character in the nose. I don't know what I'd compare it to, actually, except maybe Vino Verde in it, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. So I'm you going. Chill with that down? Yeah, I'm going with a 95 on that, too. I'll go 95 and 94 just to be different, but it's $17.99 in the stores if you can even find it because it's a very small production, and $10.99 if you want some more. And I want some more. It'll be perfect for, for this hot summer afternoon, which we're having today. We are? Okay. Let's and stare, that's it. Let's just stare at the camera. Vintner series, June 2012. When does when does the end of the world happen? Wasn't that it was, it was it's coming soon? Isn't that like this month sometime? Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming soon to a theater near you. 